<laughs> good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, my darlings, and happy day, everybody. Good morning, guys. Good morning, GB is over. Look at all my freckles. Holy cow, GB. You're sun I'm sun-kissed. I'm an Italian-Russian princess. <laughs> My mother-in-law watched our 23andMe video, and she got a kick out of how I was the Russian princess. Um, so guys, JB is over here. What are you, what are you doing over here on this fine Sunday morning, JB? Yeah, get, get, getting ready to, uh, start up the charcoal for the, uh, well, I, first I have to set this up on pavers, and, uh. Cause what are we doing today? Tell them. Make up, uh, pizza and stromboli. With your... Uh, pizza oven. Hell yeah, guys. We are super, super excited. JB has set this up. We're having guests today. Danielle and Bree are coming over. The My friends who just got engaged in Jim Thorpe two weeks ago. Was that two weeks already? Uh, yeah, it is. That flew by. What did we do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because last Sunday we went to Angelina's. <laughs> it was the following Sunday. Oh, my God. But they're coming over today. We've had this plan for a while to hang out. Um, and what is today? Sunday the 5th. So we've had this plan to hang out for Sunday the 5th, I think, ever since their engagement. So actually, I think before that, before their engagement, when they came to my cookout uh, several weeks ago, we said, okay, Sunday, June 5th, you guys are going to come over and we're going to hang out and blah, blah, blah. And Danielle wants me to show her how to use TikTok, like how to use the timer and how to do tradi or tr traditions transition so i told her that i would show her how to do that we may watch a movie we're not sure yet if we have time for that it's supposed to be a gorgeous day out absolutely gorgeous just like yesterday i have an outfit planned already i might wear my cheetah print dress i'm not sure yet but i might i might i i i i, I don't know I don't know. I might wear it. I'm not sure. I want to set up the table. I didn't get too many snacks because it's just the four of us. There was supposed to be maybe six of us, um, but there's only supposed to be the four of us, so I'm just going to put out some veggies and ranch, salsa and chips, and peanuts and pistachios. That's what I'm putting out because then also the pizza and the stromboli is very heavy. So um, I also, I'm also going to make like a little garden salad too, just like just with like tomatoes, red onion, and cucumber, just to kind of um, help us separate the cheeses and all of that. Um, so anyway, and the reason that we're making pizza and stromboli today is because my friend Danielle, when she saw that I got JB that last week, I don't, I don't know times guys. I'm also a mess this morning. Um, when Danielle saw that she commented on my vlog that she can't wait to have some pizza out of that. So I said to JB, I think we'll, I know what we're having on Sunday. So that's why we didn't do Pizza Friday, because we were having it today. Um, I came outside. I did my gratitude list. I've been out here since about like 8 o'clock this morning. We slept in a little bit. JB's allergies are killing him, which is so surprising to me, because usually every year I'm the one with the allergies. And I actually, I feel stuffed and stuff, but I'm not that bad. I'm, I'm really not that bad. Not as bad as him. Um, we actually talked about going and finding some local honey so that he can put it in his tea because we heard that really helps, um, with allergies, but he's just bad this year with them guys. Very, very bad. But I did say to him, it's his, it's for, it's his first sober spring. So I think that might be a little bit of the reason why, like you could hear a little bit of me, but I'm not as bad as I usually am every year. Um, and like I said, it's his first sober spring. So I think that also has like a little bit of, look at this lighting. Jesus. So I think that has something to do with it. But I'm wearing, I wore, I'm wearing this. It's so freaking comfortable, guys. I, I got this from the Goodwill last week. So comfortable. And then my favorite Walmart pajama pants. Oh my God, they're high waters, but they are so comfortable. Um, So that's what we're doing. I don't have to get ready for a little bit. I cleaned the house yesterday. Um, I don't, actually was going to vacuum out here, but I really don't think I have to. The The... The carpets look really, really nice. And I just, I only did them last week. So I don't know, lucky me. So I don't have to do it, but I do have to set the table. I don't have any flowers, unfortunately, but I want to put a red and white checkered. I guess it's almost like Italian night. You know, we're having pizza and stromboli. Pizza and stromboli, the za and the bully. The za and the bully, JV. 
I was also texting with my quirky friend Trish this morning. Um, gonna hang out with her this week. I'll probably vlog that day that I hang out with her. But anyway, guys, uh, Brie and Danielle are not coming over until 2 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna probably start getting ready around 12.30. So I'm gonna go do something with my next hour and a half. And I'll see you in a little bit. All right, y'all. So since we're doing pizza and bowli, or should I say za and bowli, JB is gonna show you guys how to make his pizza crust again. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, start off, well, we have the stand mixer. Uh, you can do this by hand. Mixing in a bowl is just a little more arduous. Uh, but we have unbleached bread flour. Okay. We use uh, King Arthur is a good brand. I had very good luck with it. So. Okay. So we'll not sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, one day. Yeah. So uh, right now we're gonna start off with a cup of the flour, bread flour, and I um, so it's not packed too tightly. I scoop it into the and scrape it off with a knife, so it's rather loose. Okay, and how many cups of bread flour? So all together, it's going to be uh, two and a third cups. Right now, I'm just using a cup of it okay. uh, to start the, the mixture. Okay. Uh, this dough I'm making will be enough for like a large pizza or one stromboli. I'm gonna end up making two batches today so right now this is just be one batch of the pizza dough okay but this can be used for pizza dough stromboli steak and cheese rolls Ro yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and a packet of yeast okay so right in there all right and i like to be a little more generous with uh adding sugar i find it uh not only does it help with the uh, yeast uh, reaction, um, it gives, I think, a little sweeter of a flavor. So I go with like a heaping tablespoon. Okay. Sugar. So, so far you have one cup of bread flour, one packet of yeast, and one heaping tablespoon of sugar. Yep. Okay. And uh, add a little salt. Yes, salt. Okay. And I just, I'm kind of, just eyeballing it, just enough. We want the dough to have a good flavor, bring out every flavor of everything else. Okay. Um, we'll put in some crushed red pepper. Okay. Some crushed red pepper. Okay. Just a little bit. Crushed red pepper, okay. I like to use the uh, Badia Complete Season. We are very big fans of that. Yeah. Very, very big fans of that. We add that to a lot of stuff. Just put some around. Mm-hmm. Your secret dough, JB. And some Italian seasoning. Okay. Yeah. Danielle and Bree don't know that we're having za and boli today. Oh. I'm so excited to surprise them. So I kind of, before I... Ooh, that already smells good. Mm -hmm. Just with those seasonings in it. The ingredients. Yeah. Like a million um, ingredients. Like, coming. So now, I'll just turn the, uh, on low, and what I'm going to do, uh, take a, a third cup, or a half, sorry, three, four, uh, three quarters of a cup of, uh, warm water to get the, um, yeast, uh, reaction going. Okay. Okay, so you added the water. And about a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. So once we get this into a slurry, We'll add the remaining flour, uh, remaining one and a third cup flour, and get that all mixed up into a dough ball, which you'll see here momentarily. Okay. So is that the slurry? Yeah, just about. This is very simple. Yes, it is. Oh, it's very simple. Oh my God, I, I didn't realize, because I don't think I filmed you make it in so long, so we've been doing Pizza Fridays. So I haven't filmed you make it in so long, so I didn't even like put two and two together how simple it actually is. Yeah. Yeah, so we have this kind of slurry here. Okay. We'll add the remaining flour. Okay. Yeah, this is a half cup measurement. So there's a cup in there and then uh, and a third. So two, all, all together, two and a third cups of uh, bread flour. Oh, okay. So two and a third cup of bread flour all together. All right, so we let that mix up. Yep. Okay. And now while that, yeah, while that's mixing, we'll take a bowl that We'll prep this bowl here. Bowl with um, put some olive oil in, the, in it. Okay. We're going. This is what the dough is going to rise in. So get the uh, olive oil 
all around the sides. Is this pizza dough considered vegetarian? I would imagine so. Yeah, there. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, there isn't any a animal product. I just wanted to ask for our veggie pals. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So there is no animal products in it. So cool. Okay. And there it is, mixing up, guys. We have the ball of dough here. We'll take it, put it in the olive oil, kind of turn it, turn it around a bit to coat it. Okay. Oh, and then we're just going to cover this bowl with um, plastic wrap and let it sit uh, for uh, roughly, I mean, as long as you need. I mean, it'll half hour uh, or so, and it'll be ready to use, but. We're gonna let it sit for next couple hours. Oh, okay, perfect. Yep. So we'll see you in a couple hours. And that's how you make Joe J Joe B's. That's how you make Joe B's Zado. No, that's how you make JB's pizza dough, y'all. So there you go. Yeah. All right. I'll see you later, JB. All right. All right, guys. JB's been farting around out here with this thing. What's going yeah, on? So I fired it up because you know. Uh, being the first time using it, I wanted to burn off the manufacturing oils. So um, I got uh, some hardwood lump charcoal. Okay, cowboy. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it's really nice, right? It's holding slightly over 700 degrees, but yeah, it's, um, but here, take a look at this one. Whoa. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Wow, oh, I could feel that. I could yeah. feel that heat all the way back here. Yeah. Holy cow! Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be great. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, good, honey. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes. Yeah, oh, and then the thermometer. Yep. Yeah, it's wow. Oh, my goodness. I'm pumped. Mm -hmm. Yay! Look at us, y'all. Don't we look handsome and beautiful? Yeah. yeah. That's gonna be our thumbnail. <laughs> Guys, look at, I'm wearing my cheetah dress. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Look at, beautiful on a day like today. Sorry, the lighting isn't that good. Let me move yours maybe over here. There you go. You just can't see the full effect. And I think, oh, it has pockets. Oh my God, look at. Hello, my darling, hello, hello. So guys, we are firing that up. I have the table set, kind of. I have to go, we have an hour until they arrive, maybe like a little bit more. But um, I have to go cut the vegetables, make up the salad, and get like all the other snacks set up. So I'm gonna go do that. And I'll probably see you guys when they get here. We're super excited. Ellen Brie are here. Come on, puppies. Come on. Come on. Come on, they're good. Come on. Hi. 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 Thank you, Hi, 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 hi. JB is in there getting, but we're going to go to the back porch. But he's in there. Do you guys need cups? Yes. I'm good. I'll bring you a cup. Oh, I have cups out here, too. All right. But um, we didn't expect you so early. I were early. That's okay. She was going to get her nails filled, but... Oh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay. Oh, no, that's okay. okay. Oh, my gosh. I thought you both could wear it. I got it at a thrift store, and I think it's too small on me. Okay, so the surprise is JB is making his pizza and stromboli with his new pizza oven. Oh, look at that. So, <laughs> that's the surprise. That's awesome. <laughs> Yes, All right, starving. we're gonna set up and hang out. I'll see you guys in a little bit. JB pulled the sausage stars out, guys. But well, yeah, I I, I should have uh, rotated them. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Still pulling. I know. I'll pick off. I'll pick off that bird. <laughs> <laughs> JB. Yeah, so we have the stromboli made up, and we're gonna put it in here. Yeah. All right, let's so, do this. Hopefully, it comes off. I put flour on the peel to. It's what they said to do, though. All right. Well. Well, you know what, honey? It's your first time. I mean. Well, yeah. I mean, it, I'll just have to. I'm just hoping it'll be easy to pull it out to flip it around. And Once stuff. it crisps up, it won't be as sticky. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. JB has some of this Chimboli in the pizza oven. 
again, trial and error. We're eating some salads. Mm -hmm. We're having some salads. Mm -hmm. We're salad girls. And there's our gorgeous, salad. Gorgeous girls. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I saw this guy on TikTok say, you know, we talk about sal or soup girls. We don't talk enough about salads. <laughs> like the boys wow. that like salads. Like me. And it's arugula and spinach, too. I love arugula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're just waiting on our bowl. And you have the pizza over there, too? Yep. What's on that? Uh, pepperoni. And, oh, well, it's um, fresh mozzarella. Oh, hold on. Let me turn my... Uh, goat cheese, uh, red onion, and pepperoni. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All right, guys. So here is the pizza out of the pizza oven. What's on this again? <clears throat> uh, goat cheese, fresh mozzarella, red onions, and pepperoni. Okay. JB did this stromboli. There was a little... Yeah, well... Trial and error. Learning curve. Trial and it's... error is still delicious. We, I, we picked off what we needed to. But now we're going to dig into this pizza after it cools, but... Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's try JB's pizza, y'all. There's my piece. Mm. I think the issue is with why it was doing... I have to get the stone hotter. Mmm. Because um, the heat, it, the charcoal's in the back of the oven, and that's, like, the hot spot, and then the heat flows up over it, so the top and the, the back are really hot, but the, the stone wasn't getting hot enough before. Oh. So, and I had to keep rotating it to keep everything. So on this pizza, all the edges are, because I kept turning it, It um, everything's done on the outside, but like on the center, on the bottom, it's kind of doughy. Oh. So I have to get that. So right now, before I put the last pizza dough in, um, I put fresh charcoal in. And I have it, I'm gonna get that stoking up to like a good hot temperature and before I put the With a piece thermometer, in. do you have to get, do you think that has to go to a certain degree? Well, I had, when I first had it going earlier today, it was at like 700. I wanna get oh, it back okay. up to that. Cause that, since we were cooking all these things, it was like at 500 or below. Oh, and it, right. it wasn't hot enough. So I'm gonna, all once right. that gets up, I'll do the last pizza. Well, I think it's still pretty good. Yeah, no, I mean, it. yeah, it's good. It's just, yeah, just uh, the center bottom is a little doughy. You're learning, babe. Yeah. yeah. You're learning Get something better. new. <laughs> so guys, we are filming TikToks and I am dying. I have to show you Danielle's TikTok. Danielle, what's your TikTok? Alien Witch 1024. There you go. Go follow Danielle to see this TikTok like in person and follow her in general because she's hilarious. But look at this TikTok. I have to show you guys. Hold on because it was hilarious. You're supposed to slap each other with a tortilla with water in your mouth. <laughs> she knocked me. <laughs> it was so hard. <laughs> and you're, the goal is to try not to spit the water out. Why did hers sound different? <laughs> I smashed her like right in the front of her face. And then Roxy took a body to the <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's funny, Brie, is in that whole video I'm standing there like this. <laughs> And we were just talking about that. Hey y'all, so Danielle is going to try the gray poupon with salted pretzel ice cream. Oh my gosh, you can't wait to see what you think. Wasn't it like put mustard in your mouth? Yeah, like <laughs> chunk thick mustard. And guess what? There's people out there that are eating that. They're actually buying it or they wouldn't make it. Terrible. Oh my Terrible. god. That was so funny. Mm. One out of five? Zero. <laughs> Ooh. Brie, are you sure? Oh, I'm definitely sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for trying that. Oh, you're <laughs> 
All right, guys, it's a couple hours later. Brie and Danielle just left like five minutes ago. But while they were here, I got a message from our veggie pals that said, go check for a package, and an Amazon package. So JB went and checked while Brie and Danielle are, were here, and we got it. And I and they sent us and Mike sent us a video and he said it's more tr this is this is more trouble than a buffalo no, than a moose on a highway than a moose on a highway. So I don't know if that if he means what's in here. I'm not sure, but I'm a little nervous. So let's. So it was a little opened already. So we're hoping that whatever's in here is supposed to be in here. But you guys didn't have to, by the way. Oh! <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much. Look at that though. And it cuts the pizza. Hey, hey. Oh. And it has a, and it had, oh, a, ro a rocker cutter, hey. a shovel, and 20 piece parchment papers. Hey. Oh, you could put it in there on the parchment That's paper. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Okay, guys. So. Hey, first of all, thank you so much, Veggie Pals. And it was so funny because I was just saying to JB tonight when he made the um, pizza that I wish we had one of these. Yeah. Or no, the stromboli. This, I wish but... we had one of these to cut the stromboli with. And Amy, I was saying we have one of those knives that you have. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It was on top, it used to be on top of the microwave. And we have one of them. I forget what the technical term for it is. But I said, GB, I wish I could find that because I'd cut the stromboli with it. Guys, thank you yeah. so, so much. Oh, my God. I love that. And I love how it took us to get this to realize that we should have used parchment paper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, lesson learned. You, but thank much. you so much, guys. You guys really didn't have to. This is amazing. Oh, I love it, guys. You guys are the best. I was just telling my friends how much I love my veggie pals. I was. I was saying I met them, and they're like the coolest family, and you guys are just the best. I love you guys so, so much. So, so much. And, GB, you're, I'm happy that you got that because he wants to fiddle with the pizza oven a little more. Mm -hmm. Right? You figured out something. Yeah, with the... the yeah, the heat, uh, the heat of the stone, and uh, it's, yeah, well, I explained earlier. Oh, yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> Today was a lot, a lot of fun, though. Veggie Pals, I'm going to message you right after I end this, but this weekend was a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. I had a lot of fun, too, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys will definitely see me tomorrow. Most likely. Anyway, guys, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending the weekend with us. Thank you for watching on your phones, in your homes, or on your tablets. And we hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or night whenever you watch us. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. You will maybe definitely see me tomorrow. So until the next one. You. Bye-bye. <laughs>